Hi everybody. Welcome on in. Monday night gaming. That's right. It is Monday night, isn't it? I couldn't remember. Now I remember. Now I know. Al Pennington, what's up, Rusty Retro, what's up, Quicks, Dempsey, Otaku, Lurkland. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. The nutritious big, I'm Duggan. I've been infected with the Doug virus, dorky. I may be a little distracted tonight. I think it, if, if, so here's the thing. It's been super cloudy all day. And I, one of the reasons why I'm as late as I am, I was going to be late anyways, but I was getting ready to be a few minutes late, and I noticed that it was raining. Well, it's 46 degrees here right now, and based on the height of the cloud level and the, uh, the gentle nature of the precipitation, I think if it were about 15 degrees colder, it would be snowing right now. Now, here's the thing. I live in southern New Mexico. So, if it was snowing, you, I'd be, I'd, I'd cut stream. <laughs> like, I only get to see that shit like once a year if I'm lucky. So, as comfy as snow gaming can be, if it's the first snow of the year, I gotta, I gotta pay attention. That's, that's, I put a chair in front of the back door and just watch it. Turn all the lights off. Magic. Magical. Elf butt, how's it going? Nutritious big, thank you for the interesting. Babe, hello. It was a little snowy today. Snowing. Yeah, I seen the West Coast is getting pelted. P -p -p pelted. You're in Las Vegas. It's 73 in the apartment without any heat sources turned on. Yeah, sounds about right. Sounds about right. Giant insect. Yeah, send us some snow. We'll take. I'll tell you what. I don't know how much snow you get per year, but we'll take five percent of it. Does that work? Just go ahead and ship it to us. Do like one of those. Um, you know, when they drop, like, the pamphlets and shit out of the back of the cargo plane? Just do that. Because I don't want to get, like, a box of snow in the mail. I need to get... I need to get the gentle effect. Bum, 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 bum. Kydrin, hello. So last time on uh, Shadow Man, we... Like, right out of the gate, found the two items that I really, really needed to find, and then proceeded to just blank on where to use them. Uh, we did manage to get a little bit of collectibles going if you, if you called it a night early. We are at 75%, almost at 31 hours. So it's, it's happening. It's just not happening. We, we're no longer on the pace we hoped to be on. We're falling a little bit behind. So we need to have a killer stream tonight, or we're just going to have to accept that it's going to take a few more streams to get to. I may do a poll in a little bit too here. A very important channel poll. Not to bury the lead, but if you're planning on being a uh, like multitasking or something like that, just just listen. Listen, actively listen. I'll tell you when there's gonna be a poll. I'll go boop, boop, poll alert, and then you just know to do a poll. To sit down and do the poll. How's everybody doing? Uh, weather aside. We got everybody's weather update, but how are you doing as a person? That's the sound of the pole. Any chat messages I need to respond to? You have an ear infection. Ugh. When I had an ear infection, Dempsey, I played Super Adventure Island 2 for the first time. Uh, I got an ear infection, and my mom took me to the, the video store, and we went to the Super Adventure Island 2, which is my favorite Super Nintendo games. And I played the whole thing with my head turned 90 degrees to the side, because it was, it was it like relieved the pressure on my ear, right? So what I'm saying is, I think you should play a game that you've never played before, and hold your head... 90 degrees to the side, and maybe you'll find a, a, a true love. Tired and headachey, get to sleep so late. Yeah, I took a nap. 
I'm on the schedule right now. It's not great. I'm never like at 100% where I'm like getting a few hours of sleep at night. I go to work. I come home. I stay up for like an hour and then I go to bed for like two hours, take a nap, wake up, do dinner, do stream. And it's fine. Like I'm getting the rest that I need at least, but it's like, I don't, I don't ever wake up being like, Ooh, energy. Let's go. Let's do this. I'm always just kind of like a little dragon, just a little bit. I got to fix that. Uh, probably not quicks. No. I'm not paying fucking forty-five dollars for a soundtrack album. What? No. No. Let's play some Shadow Man. Let's turn on the N64. Bing. Expansion pack found. I have my, uh, My snifter of OJ. McLean's logo is whack. Less than three hundred and thirty three billion three hundred and thirty three million three hundred and thirty three thousand three hundred and thirty three. That could be a lot of numbers. Thank you, Capybara, for the thirty eight months at tier two. The rare, beautiful tier two sub. Thank you very much, Captain Barrow. All right. Let's start the timer. Save game loaded. Rumble pack compatible. Rumble pack. Oh shit. Dogs. <laughs> I don't know. I don't I don't use the rumble anymore on on my N64 games. I don't know. I don't use the, I don't have any rumble experience except for when I played them as a kid. Cuz I just find it really tedious to like take the memory card out, put the mem rumble pack in, take the rumble pack out, put the memory card in. We did clear out all the Dark Souls in the playrooms last night. That was good. Let's go to Paradiso. There are uh, combo third-party ones from back in the day with just like a little switch on it that you push back and forth. The problem is they're made by like Performance and Pelican, so I wouldn't trust that fucking memory pack to to save the time and date, let alone my my game progress. Come on, Slowpoke. Uh, I want to see if there are any, like, things in this area that I haven't found yet. What's up, DB? Oh, well, here's one. I still don't know how to move those plates. Gotta figure that out. Gotta figure out how to move the plates. Gotta figure out those plates. Work was, uh... It's starting to get back to normal, Dempsey. Nature is healing. <laughs> For the first couple hours, I was like, Oh, hell yeah, we're, it's over. Like, the holidays retail is done. Like, I'm having a normal day at work. This is totally fine. And then everything blew up for like two hours and was super busy. 
So it's it's getting there. It's not it's not there yet, but it's getting there. I was at least able to have like a third of my shift feel like a normal day at work. Are you trying to get me to ask a question? Or is that an actual character? <laughs> it's work hell right now. Capybara. Is it starting to get busy again? Did I run into a fantasy wall today, Toa Plant? Good question. Let me think about this. I didn't trip. I didn't hit anything. Uh, I don't think I ran into a fantasy wall today. I did see a car parked in the parking lot with a gigantic car side, full, full car side Coraline decal. Uh, I've seen this car at work before. But it's been months, and so it was parked this time, and I had to take a picture of it. <laughs> yeah, Coraline. The, 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 the film version in particular, I believe. Is that Neil Gaiman? I can, uh, I can, I can DM it to you, Quicks. I mean, the worst one, there was, oh, yeah, crocodiles. Uh, there was a car that used, when I worked at the call center, the last call center that I worked at, um, there was a car there that was, like, not covered in, but had a significant amount of pedo bear decals on it. Which I always thought was an odd thing to just put all over your car, but... You know, it was a different time. I guess. <laughs> yeah, this was like 2007, 2008, so, like, not... It wouldn't be, like, common knowledge, I guess, but if you were an internet denizen at all. What's the difference between a denizen and a, and a citizen? No one says internet citizen. They say internet denizen. What's up with that? Help me learn a word today, folks. I, I know the word, but I need to know why I use it the way I do. What was that? Did I, like, clip through this? Yeah, I did. That's what it was. I clipped the camera through the wall. Domo Coons. Domo's pretty good. Shout out to Bovine Divine. We did unlock some more cheats last night. That was nice. I've been organically finding the cheats. Give me that. Give me that. I want that. Citizen is a legal term that means you have citizenship. Denizen just means you 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 squat there. All right, thank you, Akar. That was your vocabulary of the day from Akar Rihane. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Den is nuts. Got him. some voodoo. I'm running low on voodoo.
All right, I don't think there's anything here for me. There is, clearly. There's two Dark Souls I'm missing, but... Bort. Hmm. Hmm, Bort. There's, like, not a lot of room for me to get more Dark Souls is the curious thing, right? I'm missing... 27 in total, two from there, one from there, 11 from there, one, two, 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 one, and then whatever these are, whatever those five areas are. Uh, you, should I go back to the prison? I don't think there's anything in the prison that I need to do. I don't think there were any portals or skin burn doors, whatever they're, whatever they are. Lava ducts. Come on, Slowpoke. Find the collectibles, Slowpoke. Beat the game, Slowpoke. Eat the meat, Slowpoke. Alright, so that one is still locked. We still need to figure out a way to get into that room. Uh, apparently it comes from up above. So it'd be pretty, like, is that it? Just use confusion. I, I've never played Thief, no. Oh, don't touch it. Oh, don't touch it. I own Thief for the Xbox One, but, like, the PC ones I never had growing up. It's not a game that I or anyone I knew had at the time. Thief 2. Still thiefing. I've seen some streamers play Thief. I know Tom was playing through it a while. And, uh... Uh, I think Rig played it at one point. Maybe. I've definitely seen it in Retro Twitch. But I haven't paid a ton of attention to it. Adult gamer. It's got a... It's got naked people in it. What's up, Craig? Thief is complicated. Aha! Is this... This looks good. Yeah, this is good. This is good. That's at least a dark, a, a dark soul, a dark soul. So I think. Wait a second. Those away so we can grab some ledges. Uh... 
Blood, yes, of course. Yes, yes, blood. Sure, sure. It would appear that I've already been over here. But the proof is pudding. Proof, prove that there's pudding. Probably say like play a new video game every day and stop being a dick. And probably what I would write on those pan on my my cargo plane pamphlets. Buy my book. pamphlet over. Shadow Man is lost. Already lost. Where is he supposed to be? Maybe I would just drop off a bunch of the Star Tropics letters that you have to dunk in water. I think it'd be pretty good. <laughs> hey, 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 collectibles, hey. Hey there, collectibles. Hi. Welcome. Good to see you. <laughs> yeah, I woke up and I saw the notification. I was like, oh, he's going to play fucking Metal Combat. I, I didn't think it was going to involve an actual super scope, but... One can dream. I don't blame you for dreaming, Topa, and you gotta keep you gotta keep that that spirit in you. The most island vibe of games. Monkey Island probably has a stronger island vibe than Star Tropics. Good night, Karthus. Is that a Dark Soul? Am I? What is? What? Okay. It's fine. What's up, vocab? Say good night to everybody. Oh, okay. That's going a big circle. I don't know what's happening. What? What? How did that happen? Okay. Roll that beautiful Shadow Man footage. to beat Chrono Cross, but I am bad at that game. You wouldn't think could be 
but I am bad at that game. Can't just grind for levels. Okay, we need to be over here. Yeah. Good night is a uh, a farewell. Or it's uh it's the black eyed peas lyric. Those are the only two good nights that we have in America. That's okay. It's good. It's good that we can communicate across national borders through the international language of Shadow Man. I'm like mad confused. Well damn, it's a good night. Okay, this room is just a circle. <laughs> and I, I feel like I got lost in it. I am, right? I'm lost in this room right now. What's Shadow Man looking at? Probably like... A sad feeling. Or the lava. Looks like he's really focused on the lava. The pit of lava. That was a horrible idea. That was a terrible, horrible idea. Should you get a Switch? Uh, I like the Switch. Do you want a modern gaming console-ish? Modern-ish? Console-ish? Hey, there's a collectible up there. There's a lot of stuff you can get on the Switch that you can't get on PS4. I don't recognize this room at all. What's up, Defoe? Pull the switch. Door is open. But first. Oh, there's even a secret door up there, too? A secret Dororo? I'm pretty good. I'm pretty... I feel like I'm pretty good. Ah, oh, there's a fucking soul here too, what the shit? Okay, hang on. Don't blow this. Hurdles! Level 9! Okay, that's big. That's big. Finally level 9. 
That's an important thing that just happened. I never played Doom 3. I've only played Doom 1 many, many, many thousands of millions of times and uh, Doom 2016. I've not played the other Dooms. Dororo Secret. I don't think you need the OLED unless you want an OLED screen. I think a regular Switch is fine. I wouldn't get the light. I don't think getting a Switch light is a good idea, personally, but... <laughs> I bought the cheapest computer and got a piece of crap. Alright. Well, good, good talk. Being chased. What's up, Yana? Oh, I'm here. Oh, okay. Well, we just hit level 9, so that's good progression. We're already off to another good start tonight. the booster today feeling nothing but a sore arm and a bit sleepy yeah get some rest drink some fluids get some rest you know take care of yourself get a blanket man just get get all up in that blanket just, mm, you know man I'll get fucking 9,000 vaccines I'm cool I'd rather get a shot in the arm than lose my sense of taste. <laughs> Although, I could finally drink kombucha. Exactly, Craig. This is not correct, not correct, not correct. You know what I should do? It's warp. I should just warp. Yeah, you gotta be safe, KR. Shit's bad out there right now. Come on, cell phone. Come on, slowpoke, is what he says. But I like come on, cell phone. Shit, it didn't... It wasn't the correct answer. Well. What if we just... Cool PS2 games that get overlooked often. Do you have, like, a genre that you're looking at, Craig? And is this something that you're going to have to go out and purchase, or are you just going to be um, using your library card?
Julep is very cool. Julep's a cool game. The one that I've got my eye on right now that I've been thinking about a lot lately is uh, X Files Resist or Serve. That game is pretty out of control. Uh, it's also a little out of control price wise, as is Tulip. Um, Samurai Western is very, very expensive in America, at least. Samurai Western is a very expensive game. Uh... Okay, okay. Um, maybe Under the Skin. Under the Skin's a pretty cool game. No one really talks about that one. Um, you like robots. You could play Gun Griffin Blaze if you haven't played that already. Flotex. Oh, hey, look, a new level. A whole new level. And I've got enough for a health upgrade. Um. Do not walk softly into the jaws of the dragon. Do not accept the loathsome embrace of the beast at the heart of the horror, but instead discover that fearsome face, teeth bared, eyes aspark with ice-cold hate, sinews braced for the fall. And yet, I feel the beast does not await me at the maze's dark core. I am on the edge of knowing, and yet I am afraid that the knowledge will cause me to walk a willing sacrifice into the jaws of the dragon. Okay. Dragons. I'm a big fan of the getaway. I mean, it's a well-known game, but I feel like... Most of the dialogue surrounding that game is like, oh, it's not as good as Grand Theft Auto 3, and it's also not at all the same type of game as Grand Theft Auto 3. Okay. Alright, good luck. I know my customers to a plan, they'd be like, oh, is that a Genesis? And after trying to explain to them for the third time what it was, I'd just be like, yes, it's a Genesis. We are in Asylum Undercity. An Apple Tale is on the Dreamcast. It's been translated. It's a 2.5D platformer. That's, that's all I know. I think it was uh, designed with a female audience in mind. It looks kind of nightsy. Pretty looking pixels. Uh, third strike. Uh, Metal combat. Shadow man.
exactly dorky. It's dark in here. If they want me to use my torch, but my torch consumes voodoo power. So I, I think instead I'm just going to use the dynamic, uh, the dynamic lighting effects. Thought you could hide from me, did ya? Did ya? You fool. You absolute fool. Wait. Brightness. I don't think that would work. I mean, it might work, but it seems like uh, you know, we got a we got a uh, fast travel. I realize that's what these little like weird face animations mean. I think the way that that was working is it was like, I mean, we can try, but I think it's just uncovering. Like brightness is at eighty. Yeah. So this isn't like a this isn't like a a brightness issue. It's Map tiles. It's fog of war. I think so, DB. And now I can't set this back to 80. Look what you made me do. There we go. Uh, a big quesadilla for you. other on what other ps2 games do they not talk about that are good how about um how about um nano breaker nano breaker is good uh how about uh unlimited saga huh 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 unlimited saga huh huh uh if you want, like, a really chill-ass, chill, fucking chill game, and you're into, like, Harvest Moon and, and shit, Shepherd's Crossing is legitimately a super good PS2 unknown game. Like, people just aren't aware that that game exists. Oh. Yeah, if you like super chill chill games, Shepherd's Crossing. You It's like Harvest Moon except there's talking ducks and uh JRPG turn-based combat. I know blood. I know. I know. You want my blood. Through that, all right, put the key in the hole. Oh, I turned on the thing. Is that good, or is that like a soul consumption device? 
It's loud. Legend of Oasis. I, yeah, I, I've, I've played so few Saturn games, man. Oh, the Yoshi Safari dank art. I saw the Metal Combat dank art. I didn't see the Yoshi Safari dank art. <laughs> oh, Anne. Oh, Anne. Anne K is great. You guys should follow Anne K. What is it? Twitch.tv HTTP colon slash slash twitch.tv slash ank underscore What's up, Dr. Funks? Yeah, yeah, I mean, you can get lost. You can easily get lost in the PS2, but let's start there. Let's start there, let's see how you do. And then you can kind of tell me, this was cool, this one wasn't. I want to do this. And I'm like, oh, well, then you should play Kessin 3. I want to be, uh, I want to play a game with Jean Reno and a time traveling samurai. All right. Onimusha 3 is the game for you, you know? Ah, uh, yeah, BCV. BCV is a cool game. It's pretty dank. The uh, the European dub is pretty funny. No, that's One Chambara. Which I also need to do a playthrough of on stream. It'd be nice if they went and did another one of those games, but I also don't know, like... This is going to be a weird thing to say, because Resident Evil just kind of... Picks a point on the horizon and flies towards it. But, like, I don't know what they would say with another... With another Onimusha game. Like, what... what why would they need to... Like, it'd be cool if they made one, but, like... What would they do with it that would be meaningful or interesting other than just being like, hey, remember we made this game? Probably Dr. Funks. Yeah. And you know how I feel about Metal Gear, so, you know. Play Acid. The rest are alright. Better to watch than to play. Metal Gear. <sighs> Colonel. There's a Dark Soul up there. I don't know how to get to it, but it's up there. More Notorious? Uh, Japanese, it'd be Miyamoto. That's the only other one, probably. Um, but, like... There's, there's some Western ones. Depends on what you mean by... Like, I think people are naming 
infamous developers. <laughs> Not notorious developers. Favorite show tea song? Ah. Uh, Love to feel your body? I'm not sure. Show T's pretty good. Groove 2001 is really good. Blood. 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 Did you guys read a different question than I did? <laughs> Why are we talking about game story? The question was more notorious developer than Kojima. engineer's key it's it was a budget game no one really knew about it the only way I found out is I had a friend who like bought it for 10 bucks at Walmart there is a Shepherd's Crossing 2 that's a little more well known because it's a DS exclusive and it's worth like 200 bucks but yeah it's Shepherd's Crossing is like completely under the radar Great. Can all that booty be all yours? Walk backwards. Can all that booty be all yours? Everybody get collectibles. I remember reading some article about what the work life is like at Valve, and it just seems like it seems like a place that's very chaotic where nothing ever gets done. Like they hire people to work on shit and it just keeps getting canceled and canceled and canceled because there's no there's no cohesive leadership from what I read. What's up, Tussin? Best I can give you is B minus. I hope that's okay. Are you okay with some B minus Shadow Man action? That's a lot of what? Did I just like wake everybody up at once? What's happening? Oh, it's a big one. It's a big old boy. And he's shooting grape wisps at me. Boop. Boop. It 
It's like a mini boss. He's gonna die in a couple seconds. Let's see. Dark Soul. Dark Soul. Mm, Dark Soul. Is that all that was down here? I mean, a Dark Soul is a good thing to find. But... That's all that was down here. I'm gonna save my game, because I found a bunch of shit. Like, watch. We've only been streaming for an hour tonight. A little less actual in gameplay, like 50 minutes. Right? I'm gonna do a quick percentage calculation. Because I think... I think we've done some big shit tonight. Already. Yeah, now look at this. This is 50 minutes worth of work tonight so far. 81%. Big for doulas. So yeah, saving game, good. Good to save game. is confusing. Not that that's any different from any other area in this game, but... Uh-oh. Uh, I'm looking for Dark Souls and some for Dooley's. the thing. You're supposed to grab the thing. You guys like orange juice? I think as far as juices go, orange juice might be one of my least favorite juices, but it's prolific, you know. Market saturation. You thought it was just a glass of egg yolks? Yeah, I gotta bulk up for my boxing match against Logan Paul next month. Now that I'm a Twitch partner, I have to fight Logan Paul. It's in the rules. It was in the contract I signed. I've never heard of raspberry juice, but I love raspberries. I would drink a raspberry juice. I'm going to take the dive, yeah. <laughs> I want that payday. I got to buy a lot of N64 games, Dano. They don't pay for themselves. I do not like pomegranate juice at all, nor do I like pomegranates. Beet juice. Is that a euphemism, dorky? Straight Duggan. Guava, guava nectar is good. Guava nectar is tasty. I can get behind that. Alright, 
I think I'm heading back to the... Yeah, this is where I just came from. Okay. That's actually what I wanted to do, because I kind of felt like a doofus. And I wanted to make sure that I didn't miss, like, cool shit. But I think I'm actually going to warp back to the start of this area. There's only three Dark Souls here? Damn. I've already seen one of them. I just can't get to it yet. Come on. Slow poke. Sobe Strawberry Daiquiri. Sobe's... At least when they first came out. They always looked so delicious. And they always tasted like... I don't know. Like a soapy juice. Maybe that's why they call it Sobe. Because it's soapy. Oh, oh, oh! So is there, you're talking about specifically the Acclaim logo with the iguana on it, Dorky? Sobe. <laughs> I'm still gonna go Sobe. There's the other Dark Soul. Alright, well, I think I've seen most of this level already. I can't wait till we play Iggy's Wrecking Balls. Are they gonna let me type balls in the in the stream title? <laughs> or am I gonna have to get creative? Balls? Monkey balls? Okay, speaking of Geico, you guys know the GameStop Battletoads prank, right? You call GameStop, you ask me to have Battletoads. Hilarious, right? Someone in chat, I don't know who it is, but I'm convinced someone in chat is sending a different teenager to my store every month, energetically asking if we have a copy of Gex. I don't know how you're doing it, but I know it's one of you. <laughs> I do have a copy of Gex. That's the frustrating part. Is I do have a copy of Gex. And they never buy it. What's up, cover? You think it's Donkey's fault? But no one, well, I think one person's asked me for the big, big Yoshi once. So maybe you're onto something. Maybe it is. Maybe it is that damnable donkey. It's happened like six or seven times, DB. Maybe Cassette Cobra. Shadow Man will finally get his revenge for being weak to, like, the weirdest Mega Man power of all time. And it's always a different kid, too. It's not the same kid. Centrifugal force, no!
Testing the market. Yeah, it's... It's guerrilla marketing by Square Enix executives. Uh-huh. I'm playing Shadow Man. Okay, I can... I can empathize with that. I do play Shadow Man. Dark Souls collectible. Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It sounds like something they would put in, in a game like Shadow Man. Is this where I came from? They did just trademark Dex again. Yes, that's true. Uh, what? Uh, uh, is that a thing, Quicks? Okay, well, I guess, uh, I guess we just let it happen then. We do what we did with Bomberman 64 and we eat shit and start over. <laughs> Bomberman issue was the costume pieces requiring a speed run. Yeah, I'll let you know, DB. I know you just want me to do that so you'll know that your handiwork paid off, so you can so you can grease the palm of whatever teenager you hired on TikTok to do this to me. I see what's up. I know how this is working. The one today, he was he was like, You got Gex? And I was like, I'm sorry, what did you just say? He said, I said you got Gex! And I was like, yeah, I got I got Gex. It's right here. Yeah. I do have Gex. Do you want to buy this Gex? No? You don't want to buy the Gex? Okay, well. Well, never mind. I guess. I Gex. Like, the copy I have is like loose disc. So it's like ten bucks. Why Gex is the best video game? Well, it's got Dana Gould, and it has funny, quote, jokes. About the 60s. There you go. There you go, the file. I asked him what, what, uh, what, uh, system he wanted Gex for. He's like, uh, PlayStation? I was like, yeah, I got that. And then he was like, well, I'm not buying it. Okay. Bye. Bye, teenager. Okay, this is the way I came. I... Maybe not, but I don't know if no one else has told me, like, if anyone else has. I've had parents calling on behalf of their kids asking if we have Gex. Gex 3D, specifically. And I remember that conversation, because I was like, I have Gex 64, and I heard the voice in the back room be like, that one doesn't have as many voices. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I 
It is true. It's entirely true. It doesn't mean that it's not maddeningly confusing. That would be pretty wild. <laughs> Do you have Shadow Man? No. Do you have Powerpuff Girls? No. You got Uchan Nanchan Hono no Challenger Denryu Ira Ira Bo. Who is this? Identify yourself. We do have Shepherd's Crossing, yeah, we actually do. I saw I could trade it in and I was like, fuck yeah. We have played the Evergrace soundtrack in the store before. There could be one game I could play on real cart, not Wait, what? What's up, Toplan? Then I'll be like, you should really buy Shepherd's Crossing. It's a good game. Robe's getting a little warm. Oh, if I could, if there could be one game I could play on real cart, I I don't have Tatsunoko versus Capcom at work nor in my library here at home. Retrograde Tom, hi Retrograde Tom. Retrograde Tom is here. Do you have gets in stock for PlayStation? Yes. No. Sorry, we have Chex Plus for PC. Will that help? No, and by Gex, we have Hexen on PlayStation. How about that? No, I want to get Gex. Well, we have Superman 64 and there's Alexa Matt. How about that? No. No, that's what, that's what it's like. That's what it's like when you try and help people. I don't have Twin B. Again, at home or at the office. I do have Momotaru Densets Peach Boy Legend. Uh, blood. Uh, I'm not an owner, I'm the manager. I am not part of the ownership team. So, a game I could play on real cart. Chase for the turbo graphics. That'd be pretty good. Thank you, Atticus. I uh I made it some investments during the 2008 financial crisis. I, I did purchase some ownership stocks and hearts. Yeah, US version. Hi. Do you have all the Kido and Shadow Man and stuff? No. How about Dark Souls? No. Like no, I don't. I've got most of them. I'd say I have at least three quarters of them, Gao. Thank you for the hundred bits. zero copies of Glover, and I know this because people ask me for Glover 
like every couple of days. I no joke. People come in every like three, four days and be like, I'm looking for like Glover on N sixty four or like something like that. I'm just like, something like that? <laughs> You know, like a Glover clone. No, I swear to God, it happened today. Like, it happens often. And it's not, it's not teenagers this time. It's like, it's like full-on adult gamer dudes being just like, I wanna, I wanna get Glover. Mitten, the official hamburger helper game. All good, all good, uh, suggestions. You guys should work in a video game store. Panzer, Panzer Dragoon. It's Mr. Pants. And in terms of trade, do you mean in general or do you mean for N64? Wait a second. For N64, I mean, I've got a lot of sports games right now. Um, but, like I said, we always just get like the same six games traded in and out. It's always Mario Kart, Diddy Kong Racing, uh, GoldenEye, And they just, they go in, I put them on the shelf, someone buys them, I don't have them, repeat. Yeah, we got a big turbine here, Doze. Here comes the new challenger. You must crush them. Abaddon Costello's famous retro game store, Gex. Although I'd like to buy Gex. Gex. Gex is a video game. Abbott has forgotten that Gex is a video game. <laughs> and thus, he has forgotten how to react to a tacky geeks introduced to X-Mean at 1234 handing him the Gex video game. Q hilarious cartoon packed voice. Excuse me? No answer from Abbott. Even though, duh, it's Gex. Okay, fine. So Abbott doesn't get the joke. He just thinks he's a professional X-Men consultant from outer space. There you go. Dorky, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, and for making a joke that Gex would make, I think, more than anything. Uh, I sell a Sneak King every couple months, uh, to a plan. Big Bumpin' and Pocket Bike are a lot harder to move, but I sell a Sneak King every once in a while. What do I say no to, trade-wise? Uh, Toys to Life that aren't Amiibos. Uh... Uh, porn games, uh, I'm, I'm a lot less picky than pretty much everyone else there. Um, like, I'll buy, I'll be like, oh, we got 30 Connect Adventures in the back, I'll buy your Connect Adventures. Because part of me knows that, like, 15, 20 years ago, no one wanted Mario Duck Hunt, and now they're worth 12 bucks. 10 years ago, no one wanted Guitar Hero controllers, and now they're fucking 70 bucks. Like, Connect Adventures Day will come. It's got to be patient. The connecting, yeah. Rumble packs, uh, usually I get some, like, Interact or Performance brand ones whenever someone trades in, like, N64 stuff that all comes in a big cardboard box that was forgotten about. Um, if it's, like, someone who's, like, here, I'd like to trade in my N64 collection, and, like, it's an actual collection, like, never Rumble Pack, never. Yeah, we sell, we sell Guitar Hero controllers for, like, 60, 70 bucks 
to fly, and they fly off the shelves whenever we have them. Used ones. Yeah, if Vivid Dolls comes in, it's it's just going straight into the employee hold. Yeah, the drums are worth about a hundred bucks these days. A set of rock band drums. think somebody would honestly like I don't know if it's like a if it's like a patent issue or what but like Red Octane got their start making weird bootleg Guitar Freaks controllers I don't know why no one is doing that for Guitar Hero or Rock Band because they would be making a goddamn killing and they could even do the same thing Red Octane did would be like no it's not a clone look we added more buttons that don't do anything like just do that Yeah, me too, Toplan. Me too. I find this area confusing. Because I think it's like three interconnected turbines. And I'm just going in a circle between them. You know what sucks to use in the first place? Arcade Guitar Hero controllers. This is called the Undercity. I never liked how stiff the buttons were on the Arcade Guitar Hero controllers. Turbine 1 is the one with the little outcropping in it. This area is loud. <laughs> this is a loud... I turned on the loud part of the level. Feedback on light guns is cool, except when you have a force feedback light gun, speaking about people breaking Time Crisis. So Time Crisis has that, the chamber action, right? So what that means is, people don't put money in the Time Crisis, and they point the gun at the screen, and they go pop, 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 pop with their hand, and fucking break that shit. Over and over and over and over. Oh, I haven't been in this room. Alright, sick. I haven't been in this room. There's blood in this room! Yeah, the generic red and blue guns, that's... 
That's the arcade giving up and not wanting to buy the force feedback ones as they break over and over again. Boop. Ah, turned off the death blades. Or just slowed them down? No, they're off. They're off. What do I do when the death blade asks for blood? Okay, this area is getting a little mazy. I don't know what I don't know if this is like a normal thing like if it happens everywhere but like having Oh, there's a fucking accumulator something retractor in here. I need one. I need one very badly. Okay, hang on. Jesus Christ, there's like a jillion ways to go. Um What's up, Bumble Bay? I remember when I bought uh my beat mania cabinet. So people are like, oh, you're gonna take that to work? Like, you're gonna, you're gonna set it up at work and make money off it? And I was like, I've worked in an arcade, and I've seen what people do to beat mania cabinets in two different locations. Like, either they don't put money into it and they just move the turntable back and forth, or they do put money into it, don't play the game, and just move the turntable back and forth, and then walk away after they fail the first song. Like. I would love to be the person that, like, educates the entire community on Beat Mania, but no, it's not going to happen. <laughs> Anything that sprays? Yeah, that's a good point. This is a cool game, New Paradigms. I agree. I think this game is very good. Someone dumped a whole beer into the new 2DX cab at the round one. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds that sounds like normal behavior. That sounds like a normal thing that someone would do. Yes. story to this game? The story to this game is pretty dumb. <laughs> Armored Macaw. The game is good. The story is very dark and edgy. 1990s. What's that one uh, Sega game that would never ever work in America because it involves real blocks that you can just pick up and take out and not put back and leave the arcade with. Yeah. It's kind of like, it's like voodoo spawn. <laughs> it's a sick game, but yeah, it just involves like these big plastic blocks that you can just take away from the arcade machine and never come back with. I 
I think there's a very good chance here that in a few seconds I will have completed this level. And that may be dangerous thinking, because that means that I'm going to be not very likely to come back here. Brick people, yeah, 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 that's it. But I don't know where else you could go in this level. Like, I think I've... I think I've done it all. Yeah, I think I've done it all. I think this is the end of the level. I probably missed a Kado somewhere, but I got the I got the retractor. I got all the Dark Souls. I'm feeling grooby. I'm feeling real grooby right now. Stole the spatula from your SpongeBob game? God. God. Yeah, I think I'm just going to leave this area. Honestly, I'm just going to walk away. I'm just going to walk away. That would be sad if someone's like, Man, I really need a spatula. But I can't afford one. I know. I'll go to the arcade and steal theirs. <laughs> I don't think I know how to leave this area, so... Block pee poo. <laughs> Good. I'm glad that it's sometimes known as block pee poo. Very good. Basically, you move physical blocks on a play field, and then the people on the screen, like, climb over them to get across obstacles. It's kind of cool. It is a kid's game, but... It's kind of like uh, Gusun Oyoyo, but with, uh, with actual blocks, which is a fucking sick idea, honestly. No one wants to get caught peepoo-handed. <laughs> I got pee poo on my fingers. Okay, we are. I know there's a couple more nine doors. I just don't remember where they are. Because I don't remember where anything is. So. Instead of wandering around the Underdark for a billion years. Uh, you want a. What is that? A wacky gator? Ow! Ow! I see him for sale, uh, honestly. They usually have some kind of mechanical problem, but I do see him for sale. No, I'm really mad. Ow, 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 ow. I don't know, man. The market, the arcade market is like, if you think the retro game market is fucked right now, <laughs> spider stomping, yeah, that's another good one.
The funny thing is, it wasn't at first. Like, the arcade market getting fucked happened, like, a year ago. It was pretty sensible-ish before that. Toa Plan's probably shaking his head because he's been involved with it a lot longer than I have been, but... Climbing up the staircase, ripping up a spine, gonna jump on a toilet and have a bad time. The Shadow Man can! You know what's actually more fucked though, Toa Planet, if you, like, from watching the auctions, is, like, modern redemption games? I remember that, like, there was an auction... Uh, like eight months ago or something like that, where um, someone paid ten thousand fucking dollars for like a big SpongeBob uh, redemption game that was just like a big spinning wheel, and they raised the bidding up to ten grand for that shit. Want to try? I remember RG. Now, see, I want to know. I want to know. Um, they used to give away the Trog arcade game as like a, as like, I think like a magazine prize. Like if you bought the NES Trog game and you sent in proof of purchase that you could like win a Trog cabinet. And now I'm wondering, now I'm wondering, did your aunt's coworker win the Trog game? Can we all go to his house and play it? works at Nintendo. Does he do the voice of Waluigi? What's the closest thing your fridge contains to orange juice, Craig? Rugby juice? Your uncle works at Jordan's Furniture. Does he make the couch? Is he the one that made the couch? Tangerine San Pellegrino. Alright. Sounds refreshing. Alright, guys. <laughs> Hang on a second. Can I warp back here? Not yet. Okay. We're not jumping on the toilet yet. Your uncle recorded the burps and farts, esports? <laughs> your uncle your uncle farted into a microphone at Victor Ireland's request? That's pretty fucking cool. Don't let anyone make fun of you for that. That's sick as hell. <laughs> Don't 
mess with me, little man. Little big man. Little big man. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't your mama never tell you? It don't matter how big. My mama loves me. She never loved you. Do you guys ever watch Syphil and Ollie on MTV back in the day? You remember that they would occasionally watch a show, like an old black and white show with these two little like cellular globs, and one of them would go, gie, 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 gie. and then the other one talked exactly like that dude? <laughs> All right. We got we got the fast travel point. I've saved the game. I need to know. This won't count towards the game's crashes, but I, I just I need to know. Wait, it wasn't this toilet, was it? I think it was the other toilet. There's two bathrooms in this level. The for we are many thing. Yeah, that's like, uh, that's what all the villains in this game say. They're, they're legion. Or was it the part where he said his mama didn't want to kiss me? Because that also, that's, uh, I think that's Deuteronomy. Unworking designs. Yeah, the main bad guy is Legion. Also, they like named all of Jack the Ripper's victims by name at the start of this game, which is a weird thing. Oh, it's from Numbers, right. I love that show. Dog. <laughs> Push the box. Push the box, Shadow Man. You can push the box, Shadow Man. You can shoot the board, Shadow Man. Shadow Man. Get and collect the bulls, Shadow Man. Shadrock Mancer. Okay, I don't want to go up yet. I want to go up, dog. What's this? Oh, yeah, all right. Yeah. A Shadrock Romancer. Yeah, we do. 
Uh, I'm pretty much the one that has to take him in, because otherwise I get a phone call and I'm like, what's this game? <laughs> they figure it out usually, but every once in a while. They're always like, I'm glad you were here when the import games came in. Oddest import game? Uh, someone traded in a Summer Carnival 92 or 93. That was kind of weird. Um, you have Japanese Madden 94. That's pretty sick. Uh, yeah, a real one. Not, uh, is 92 Rekka? What's the one on Turbo CD? Because that's the one that got traded in. I guess I should just look at, like, what import games I have, because I'm usually the one who buys them. Um... Someone did just trade in. He said that he got like a bunch of bundles online. So he traded in Super Dodgeball, uh, Momotaro, and like two generic ass Japanese fa baseball games for the Famicom. I think it's Alzadek. Uh, what else? Uh, someone randomly, like, when you say weird, I don't think of, like, rare. I'm just like, why do you have this? Uh, someone just brought in a shitload of, like, loose European DS games, I assume, because they were, like, military. So it was just a bunch of, like, Little Mermaid and, like, Clubhouse games and just weird shit like that. Someone brought in, just on its own, uh, Connect Harry Potter. <laughs> European version of Connect Harry Potter. I've got a European uh, Paper Mario Color Splash. Yeah, if Sapphire came in, I I would not on the spot. I'd be like, please excuse my customer service. I'm in the middle of having a nut right now. <laughs> All's a dick. I've got some Turbo Graphics stuff here. I don't have, I don't have any PC Engine games, but I do have Turbo Graphics stuff. If you'd like to see a Who card, yeah, okay. Uh, what's what's convenient for me? Hang on a second. Let me find something convenient. I'll be right back. Okay. Uh, yeah, pull up Darkwing Duck. So this is what a Turbo Graphics game looks like. It's just this little credit card guy, right? The chips, the contacts are right there, and then you got like your care directions on the back. Don't bend the game. Uh, and then what most TurboGrafx people consider complete in box, uh, they come in these jewel cases. So, 
you got a little like CD style manual, and then on the inside it just kind of clips in like that. Splatterhouse, I got you. I got you, boo. Splatterhouse. There you go. But this isn't actually CIB, uh, because Turbo Graphics games came in a little, like a slightly larger cardboard box than this. And I, that's already hard enough to collect this shit, man. I don't want to deal with that shit. We have a couple actual CIB Turbo Graphics games at work, and I'm just like, no. Because if I get those, then I'm gonna want to get more of them. There you go. That's a Turbo Graphics game. You want to see a Neo Geo dorky? You want to see a Neo Geo dorky? Shit. All right. Well, dorky wants to see a Neo Geo. I don't own a Neo Geo system. No, you just kind of pull them out. They they push in and then you pull them out. Turbo Graphics carts. There's, there's a little cart slot in the front of the system. And you just kind of push it in and it locks into place. And then you just pull it out. Here's a Neo Geo cartridge. Here's Neo Turf Masters. There you go. You want a size comparison? <laughs> there's, a, there's a Turbo Graphics game. Compared to a Neo Geo cartridge, and then in width, there you go. Big boy. Yep. So there's just circuit boards in here. There's just two big circuit boards inside a Neo Geo cartridge. These are the the MVS carts. These are not the home versions. These are the actual like arcade cartridges that go into the arcade machine. And this is a pinball game. Time Cruise is a pinball game. So there you go. Now you've seen uh, some things. You want to see... You want to see... Uh... What's good? What's a good thing to see? Uh, our Neo Geo... I When we shut down for COVID, I took all my Neo Geo cards home. I did have Neo Turf in the Neo Geo, but then uh, when we got back, the Neo Geo was not acting correctly, and we haven't gotten it working up to speed yet. So I've just left all my with it, the Neo Geo is off, and all my cards are here at the house. Um, what else is weird? What are what's another weird thing that you want to look at? I don't think I have any more video games. I think I showed you guys all my video games. Sorry. You've seen every video game I own now. Um... Yeah. yeah, I think I've showed them all to you now. I don't have a Playdia. Closest edible thing? Uh, I've got a sparkling water. I've got a can of orange juice. This is a glass, it's not a can. Time, Cru Time Cruise is alright. Uh, it's no Alien Crush, it's no Devil's Crush. But it's alright. Turbo Graphics is weirdly, weirdly stacked when it comes to pinball games um, I know I know here you go one more thing and then we'll get back to the video games
Here's a copy of Dizzy plugged into a Sonic and Knuckles. There you go. <laughs> There's a fantastic Dizzy plugged into a Sonic and Knuckles. The ultimate video game. Dizzy and Knuckles, yeah. You played the Aladdin Blue Spheres today, Sales? Nice. Yeah, you can you can just put Knuckles in any video game. You can do Road Rash and Knuckles. You can do uh, Barney's Hide and Seek and Knuckles. You can do uh, you can do Dick Vitale's Awesome Baby College Hoops and Knuckles. Knuckles Chaotix and Knuckles. Uh, I think it does. I think it does, Quicks. Google Sega Tower of Power, and someone's got one with a power base converter hooked up to it. Really? <laughs> Earthworm Jim is immune to Sonic and Knuckles? That's weird. What is this birdhouse? I like how Shadow Man just runs around holding this Neo Geo cartridge in his left hand when you equip it. Oh, the piece de resistance on the top. If a game is locked down, which brings the total file size to more than 4 megabytes. Sonic and Knuckles, vanilla Sonic and Knuckles boots up. I didn't know that. Fascinating. I learned something today. The honeybee is a, uh, I have a couple honeybees. They're, um, region bypass devices. Where did I put my honeybees? I have, uh, the Nintendo honeybee, and I think I have an off-brand. I mean, they're all off-brand, but... I have one for the Super Nintendo as well. But that way I can play Mother on my NES, on my front loader NES. It even comes with a little ribbon so you can pull it out. That looks like an official Bubsy. Yeah, Accolade games are in a weird... Accolade's one of those companies like EA where they... They did their own cart design. So Accolade games are very, like, tall compared to Genesis games. My friend had one of those, uh... One of those game copiers for the Super Nintendo. This level reminds me of Condemned Criminal Origins, and that is a big compliment for me. No, never had a Super Noah's Ark. That's never happened. Condemned, Craig? That is a good game. <laughs> Dang. That's a beefy tower. No. People like to ask if we get them, though. I'm like, oh, you got a, you got one of those. I saw, I watched Pawn Stars. You got one of those things? I'm like, no. 
No, I don't. Condemned 2 just wasn't as fun. And I think a big part of it is that Condemned suffers from the same problem that uh, Indigo Prophecy suffers from. And I mean this sincerely, by the way. Where, like, you start Condemned... Why don't they just ever make cool video games about cool serial killer shit? Right? They're always like, oh, it's a game about serial killers. Like, that's cool as fuck. And they're like, actually, just kidding. There's, like, the devil. The devil is controlling you via bird signals. And you're like, what the fuck are you talking about? This game was really cool. And now I have to literally beat the devil out of someone with a piece of rebar. The alcohol mechanic in Condemned 2 is kind of fun, but the game just didn't do it for me. And then, like, they put the multiplayer in there, which I get it. It was 2010 or whatever, and, like, every game needed to have Team Deathmatch, but that multiplayer was so shitty. And, like, it doesn't belong in a game like that. There's no room for multiplayer arena battles in fucking Condemned. Just hobo turf wars. Oh yeah, I gotta turn on the lights. I forgot about that. There's a light switch. Condemned to bloodshot. You know, because you're taking shots of blood. It's like the cheesiest thing Shadow Man says in this whole game, and he spends the entire game talking about the anguish of the soul god yearning for the black wings of the demon's cry. I'm gonna save the game. Having crashed the game in this area, I'm like really sketchy about saving the game here. <laughs> Just want to save it all the time. Retro Bit Genesis is okay. It's, you know, it's an alright controller. Jones, I heard he likes microphones. I said, hey, I'm Shadow Man. <laughs> is the classic end the weird one that is like it's the classic HD but without the HD is that the one oh hey an elevator Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We thought about buying these, and I'm just like, there's no point. We carry the classic, too. Why would we carry a stripped-down version of that?
Is this... No, there's no toilet in here. Legion of Maelstrom, welcome to the chat. This game is sick. This game is extremely good. Oh my god! Actual flashlight? Wow. Wow! I didn't even know this game had this! <laughs> Let's fucking go! Save game. Smart. Smart of the developers to put this in, because, like, the dynamic lighting in this game is sick as fuck, so yeah, you should absolutely have uh, an inventory item that shows off the hard work they put into this. Yeah, Glover is more popular than this at my store. Absolutely. I guess let's take the elevator. There's probably more shit I need to find up here, but... Elevator... go up. Gotta love the glove. Oh, elevator actually does go up. I thought it was gonna go down. Look, Daddy. Shadow Man. If I told a wrestling fan... I was like, oh, you like wrestling? That's cool. I don't think wrestling's been the same. Like, I think it peaked with the Glover ad. Do you think they know what I was talking about? Do you think they would agree with me? <laughs> Alright, so I, I don't know why I need the elevator. It clearly goes to a floor that I can't get to otherwise, but I didn't see anything to do on that floor. Elevator go down the hole. Okay. I'm over 32. And I'm loving it. I need to see if I can make this jump, maybe? Where does the... Oh, it slopes... Oh, yeah, it's a very makeable jump. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I played an N64 wrestling game with a guy called Mr. Ass in it. If someone was like, is this game good? I would say, this is what I would say. If I had no mercy and someone asked me, is this a good wrestling game? I would say, it's a long wrestling game. <laughs> it's a lot of wrestling game. It's a big wrestling game. Uh oh. A. Oh, angel. Touch it. Get. Get cheat. Touch it. Get cheat. Touch thing. Get cheat. Touch. Touch it. Get cheat. No. No cheat. Okay. Well. Well. Most people don't 100% their games, and that's why I'm special. That's why I have captured your hearts and minds with the N64 Complete Works. Uh, Def Jam. They did Def Jam. I think Def Jam runs on the same engine as No Mercy.
I do play wrestling games for the story, yeah. I played Rumble Rose. I 100%ed Rumble Roses on stream. If you're new to the channel, sorry, you missed that. But someone, I think it was Nuxy, requested Rumble Roses on the backlog, and I, I 100%ed it. <laughs> Or at the very least, I got all the all the characters unlocked. I don't know if it was a true 100%. I don't know if I got all the costumes or whatever. Oh, hey. I need that. I don't know what it does, but I need it. These fucking alone-in-the-dark stings. Yeah, I found an MVS cart. I got my Neo Geo cart. That one's, uh... That one's Captain Tomaday. Yeah, that's... That's what they're saying. I mean, it makes sense, like, honestly. The whole sort of, ooh, blood room. The whole, like, reason for AEW's existence is to be, like, hearkening back to the glory days of wrestling. So if you're going to make an AEW game, you either get Aki or you get Yukes. Like, that's it. Yukes. There's some good audio design happening right now. bullets in this area. Rappy land. Hopping Rappy, thank you for the follow. I found another birdhouse. Alright. Who left the blood tub on? My insurance is not going to cover this. Uh, Devo's Gaming, thank you for the raid. Sorry, like, horrible... Horror sounds started happening when you raided. <laughs> D Vader, Devos, welcome everybody. Come on in. What were you up to tonight? Thank you for the raid. Welcome to Shadow Man. Spooky things are about to happen, I think. Oh, yep. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, boss fight, boss fight. Thank you for the follow, Devos. Is he gonna... Is he just gonna shoot staple guns at me? Like, okay. D Vader Gaming, thank you very much for the follow. Got him. Oh, that's like a... What is that? What is that? Yeah, he did way less damage than a diaper man. A prism? That's new. I don't know what that does. Stream Destiny 2. Nice, nice, nice. Well, I think this is another one of those areas where there's probably more shit to find, but... 
aren't more Dark Souls. I got a flashlight. I don't think we should be greedy, you know? What happens if I try to use the prism? Okay. Big, fat nothing. Can I baton these birdhouses? These bird homes? I cannot. Okay. Good, good, good. Uh, flashlight. Flashlight. There's like a bunch of different ways I didn't go. Like, what is this? Okay. I think we put the prism on this. Yep. Can I can I take it back? Nope. Okay. Well, this sure looks like the devil's furnace. Uh Aha. I guess we go in. The fuck? Well, I hope you enjoyed Destiny 2. Thank you very much for the raid. Welcome to the community. Hope you like Shadow Man. Hope you like N64. It's kind of what we do around here. It's kind of our thing, you know. There are a lot of dudes in here. Where am I? I'm in the engine block. That makes sense. That makes sense. a bit of a roll tonight. That'll all change here, though. Don't worry. <laughs> that will change. Wrong side. Uh -huh. I cannot find the temperature I'm looking for. Like, I take the robe off, I get a little chilly. I put the robe on, I get a little sweaty. Take the robe off, put the robe on. Robe on. So we have 19 inventory items currently. 19 plus 99 plus 457 over 662. Good God, y'all. Look at that shit. Look at that shit. Eighty six percent complete. They said it couldn't be done. They said it was impossible. I missed the rope.
Alright, and grab it. There we go, I did it. I did it. Well, uh, <laughs> hmm. I don't think I can do anything in here, honestly. Like, it will be important, but as it stands... Oh, there's a switch. I'm an idiot. I ran right past it. The one on the other side, too? No. They tricked me. Switch open for both sides. This side has voodoo in it. And this side has a pathway. Wait, can I not use the? F you can't use the flashlight in Dead Side. Fuck. That's lame. Oh, hey, a biggie. Oh, hey, several biggies. Sound effects? Oh god, I'm getting fucking generated. The melee damage is out of control in this game. What am I doing? What are you doing? <laughs> I'll get it. I'll get it. Just give me a sec. Let me collect myself here. I mean, hopefully Armored Macaw, but who knows? This is one of those games where if I'm missing, like, five collectibles, it could take me, like, 20 hours to find them. There's 
ways to find Dark Souls, but they haven't given me a way to track down the Kado yet. There's no Kado radar. Two big guys, two big guys. See how big they are? They're very big. Check out the size of these guys. They're really big. And me, they despise. Threw me another big guy? Just a lot of big guy living quarters. Just a lot of big guy bachelor pads. Yeah, it feels good. Piston. <laughs> oh man, he's eating him like a like a pig roast. Jack's diary. Piston three is. Three, one, two. No, no Garfield in sixty four games. Acres either. No Stephen Hawking games. No. A week of Garfield is a very good game, yes. It's the right amount of Garfield, really. That's all I can do from over here. Oh, hang on a second. Wait, is that the way I came into this room? Yeah, it is. NK, hello. How's it going? Wow, 
Blind Janitor. Thank you for the follow. -up. So I think we have to go actually figure out the... Uh, uh, the subway level now. Shadrock gives a sub to NK. Have a sub, NK. Thank you, Shadrock, for gifting a sub to NK. I think that's all I can do over here. I don't even know if I can get back to the way I came in. Because it was... Where was it? Where am I? What's happening? Okay. Let's operate under the assumption that... to do the subway next. On, Even though I couldn't figure it out last time. I finished my orange juice. Dogs! Ace hole with the 50 bits. Feet? Thank you, Base Hole. That, that TTS wins the coveted Dizzy and Knuckles trophy. Congratulations. Thank you for the 50 bits. Oh, I almost quit the game. <laughs> Let's save. Let's do a quick save since I almost just accidentally quit the game. Oops. Gelatins. Magellan Atella? Thank you, Basil, for the 50 gelatins. Disgusting. Positively foul. Original flavor Jello fans in the chat. Do I own a Snuggie? I do not own a Snuggie, no. Just a wizard robe. It's a big Z. F yeah. Nice, refreshing, hydrating. Good way to start your day. Yeah, it's just horse bones. 
Just horse bones in a bowl. That's all. Ah, 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 ah. Wow, Al. <laughs> you got tricked. You got you got Jamie Kennedy experimented. side. One leads to this. One leads to the toilet zone. If we got a cheat last time we were here, we got a cheat for going to the toilet zone, I think. Toilet zone. I'm glad that there's a big industrial barrel inside the toilets. Just, this is how I pee. This is how Shadow Man pees. Gotta, he's got to slap the pee out one, one drop at a time. Very good. Leads. This is the way into this level, right? Like the the spawn point skips the whole intro chunk of the level. Slapping is not. It's true. He's punishing himself. Punished snake. I would rather have. I'd rather have the prince symbol, but I would get a Fago tattoo before I'd get a prince symbol tattoo. I wouldn't know. I I'm I sent Fago an email once and they never responded to me. So they're on my naughty list. The sign of the times, that prince symbol. If I was in charge of the New York Times, I would I would make that our logo.
true. That is the thing that happened. I think it was like a million dollars. Like you could win a million dollars if you named your kid Turok. It wasn't guaranteed. Long story short, I'm pretty sure that ended in a lawsuit. How many times a month am I just going about my business? Uh, I'd say like 12. 12 times. Ah, uh, yes. This is why I can't figure this level out. <laughs> right, 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 right. I want a carta. Thank you for the follow. Well, then the answer to your question is zero times. Because I haven't played Metal Gear Solid 2 since, like, 2002. It does not occupy much brain space. Oh, well, I was not paying attention to the story of that game. <laughs> okay, so this just loops around. And Revengeance is fun, but... The story did not make an impact on me. Aside from everyone screaming rules of nature. What's up, Vork? What's up, False? WWF Kojima in your house pay-per-view. What even is the plot to Revengeance? It's like... <laughs> Jetstream Sam, Talking Dog... Panty Waste University... Oh yeah, the children. That's right, Marty, there's children. They're being plugged into the Matrix. Dekai, hello. Did that dog just materialize out of thin air? <laughs> like, that's a fair thing to have happen in this game, but... Hmm. 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 No, I haven't seen Matrix 4 yet. People are saying it's really good, though. That's good. I remember being way into Matrix 1.
So, if there's more good Matrix, that's a good thing. You know what's the best Matrix, though? John Matrix. And then Mars Matrix. And then Toyota Matrix. And then... Um... That's Spy Fox. Yeah, that's that's pretty accurate, Quicks. I do enjoy to consumerists. I'm excited for John Wick 4, but also I have the same issue with John Wick that I have with The Matrix, where like one is incredible and two was kind of bleh and three was better, but still not as good as one. Exactly, Kydrian. Thank you. Thank you. That's the problem with making John Wick sequels, is that they're like, we'll use this as an opportunity to explain everything in the John wick -iverse. And I'm like, don't do that. We don't belong there. It's not our right to know. John Wick 1 is in fucking incredible, because they don't tell you shit. Oh, do you want to learn the backstory of the Continental? And I'm like, no, this isn't Kingsman. I don't care. <laughs> Just tell me on Wednesdays the floor is lava. Give me a cool gunfight, and we're good. That's it. That's all I came here for. Dog, dog, dog. Dog, 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 dog. Da 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 da. Yeah. <laughs> John Wick's about to download himself into my N64 and slit my throat with an opened envelope. Joe Mama. Yeah, it's Among Us. Yep. This Shadow Man is very sus.
Can't climb out of the water with a flashlight in your hand. You can with a gun in your hand. That's allowed in this game. Flashlight? Don't be ridiculous. Why does that switch always reset? Every time I come to the stage, I have to hit that switch again. It's the only switch in the game like that. Also, have I been up here? Yeah, I have. I have to have. Right? Right? But if I've been up here, have I been down here? There's no reason to come down here. I once saw John Wick kill three men and a baby with a VHS copy of Three Men and a Baby. What up, Duke Donuts? Duke Donuts is here. Welcome on in. Hello, hello. Pleasure to serve you this evening. Just Shadow Man driving in his invisible car. Except when Shadow Man ghost rides the whip, he does it with actual ghosts. <laughs> you see shadow men drive their car like this. It's true. Train car, it's the one that has a dog. I can't. Force field. Powerful magic. There we go. I shoot one dog and everybody not likes this, but when Garfield kicks Odie off the table, everybody applauds. Fucking double standards. Psychopath O.D. Arbuckle.
We got any normal fans in the chat tonight? The Yoshi Safari Dank Art. Yeah. Yeah, check out that Dank Art. That's some good Dank Art. Why are you Googling normal alone? Why are you trying to get normal alone sales? You knew a guy named Ohm whose brother was named Nermal. Wow. Once again, Shadow Man finds himself facing a hole. Normal Rockwell. Whoa, 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 whoa. 200 bits. Six exabits, four exabits, 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 six exabits, four exabytes, six exabits, four exabytes, six exabits, four exabytes, six exabits, four exabytes. Thank you, Basil, for the 206 exabits and the 204 exabytes. Six X, six exabits, four exabyte. Six exabits. Shadow Man is kind of like, what if you were in Silent Hill, but you also belonged in Silent Hill? Like, you're not some dude who's feeling sad, and winds up in the spooky town, he's gotta find his way out. You're just like, also a hell monster. <laughs> I can see, yeah, that would kind of take you out of the mood if you wanted to do a fresh playthrough of Silent Hill and you're like, oh, I have a katana. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. They do change the intro. 
<laughs> Haunted copy of Silent Hill. I can go for a bite. Bite of a delicious little Debbie Nutty Buddy, that is. <laughs> That's pretty good. Man, getting a UFO ending by accident. What a lord. What a lord of game. No, I don't live near an Aldi. But Aldi... I bought a copy of Donkey Kong Country at Aldi, so... I bet their Nutty Buddies are good, too. switch that I can pull that I don't know what it does. What year was that? 1994? I really do not know where I'm supposed to go in this level. It's a problem. I know that it makes one big circle. But I think somewhere along the way, I was supposed to do a boss fight or something, maybe? I mean, I already got the accumulator from here, right? Maybe I'm not supposed to do a boss fight, because Jack the Ripper's dead. But, like, how do I... This game is confusing. I haven't played Homecoming since it came out. It's not a bad game, it's just Jacob's Ladder. <laughs> like the game is fine, it's it's just there's not an original bone in its body. AGB is more Texas. We don't have those here either. played the darkness. I played Shining in the Darkness. That's a good game. I like that video game. So yeah, there's an accumulator sitting there. Donkey Kong 94 on Game Boy is probably one of the five best Game Boy games ever made. Like, all the good movement in Mario 64 comes from Donkey Kong 94. And if you don't know the plot twist, 
of Donkey Kong 94, it's like literally a mind bend that will open your brain up to new realities. Hey, look, I don't think I was ever in this room. I think I'm a big, dumb, dumb, dumb. I think I'm a big, dumb, doofus, dumb, dumb, dumb. Man, you could honestly make a list of great Game Boy games and load it up with Kirby's. Like, fucking Block Ball and Star Stacker. Ugh, yes, Tilt and Tumble if you're doing Game Boy Color. <sighs> Video game. I'm so mad that we never got Superstar Stacker in America, because I would have fucking played that game so much when I was a kid. Never played any Kirby games? They're really good, honestly. I think they're... They hit a really nice sweet spot where if you're not good at video games, you can play through a Kirby game pretty painlessly. And if you are good at video games... Metalhead, thank you for the follow. If you are good at video games, you can try and 100% a Kirby game, and it's fucking hard as shit. You shouldn't have come here, Michael Lua. My coming here was unavoidable. It is prophecy. My destiny. Your destiny is to die. That is the fate of all mortal men. Freddie Mercury? I'm no longer mortal. I cannot die. Ha! Dying is easy. I have achieved that end more than once in my existence. And now, I have returned as a bloody messiah. An avatar resurrected. A divine servant for my master's great... Marsters. If dying is easy, then you won't mind if I blow you away, you pathetic little man. You may try to achieve that end, Michael Lavar, but I warn you, you shall not find it a simple task at all. For we are many. <sighs> Whoop. Oh shit, he's doing Matrix shit. Alright, hang on. <laughs> Run cycle! He's such a fancy lad! <laughs> Where'd he go? Where, where is he? Oh god! <laughs> He's just stabbing me! Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Ugh. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna let these dogs eat me while Moonlight's not a place. Fuck. This is a fucked respawn. Like, thank God I know that this level is a big loop. Because if I didn't know that, I would be so upset at myself right now. It's a better boss. It's a better... It's probably the best boss in the game so far. Bum. 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 Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Bum. Was the music louder in the bathroom? Am I gonna get DMC? <laughs> <laughs> Is Beethoven gonna DMCA me? Uh, 
Uh oh. Well, if it happens, it happens. If he dies, he dies. Okay, this is... It's the right way to go. If I just make fart noises over it, though, they won't be able to pick it out. What, what, uh, what games did you enjoy back in the day, Shadrock? What? What made you go, oh baby? What what games made Shadrock Jr. go, oh baby? Mega Man X a million times over and over? It's a good answer. Mega Man X is like so replayable, it's crazy. Video games are not often that replayable, but Mega Man X is. So what I gotta do is I gotta find that room again. It was this room, right? Yeah. Easy. You wanted a more happy, colorful Megas Man and they gave you angsty Mega Man who says damn at the end of X3. Or hell, I forget which one it is. Swearing Mega Man. James Bond, deep sea diving with an MP9. I remember really wanting to play Mega Man 7 when I saw it in magazines, and now, now it's like my least favorite Mega Man. But that's okay. I know of the game, I haven't played it though. Mega Man 7 has some good music. Shade Man's theme is really good. You shouldn't have come here, Michael Awa. Oh look, he's already melted, because damage carries over from deaths in this game. So now he's just like a skin demon. <laughs> just taunting me in a British accent. Is he dead? I think he was. I think I fucked up. He's chasing me in a silly Benny Hill fashion. <laughs> all the, um... 
All the five serial killers in this game, they have they assume human form. But when you damage them enough, they turn into these like demon bodies, and that's when you can purge their souls. Yeah, this is Jack the Ripper. Where is, where is he? Oh! Why does he always do that? Oh, God. It's like he knows. I don't want voodoo. I want health. Freaking student. What's up, Kobe? Look, we found the cheese. Okay. <laughs> Still the most interesting boss in this game, but that's not that's not a high mark. The bar is so freaking low in this game for boss fights. Michael. Oh, hey, look, health. <laughs> right when I stopped looking and gave up, that's when they put health down. Very good. I need my flashlight. Hey, hey. Can't jump up there. Okay, there's more down this path, but I don't want to get too in the weeds. I want to examine my surroundings carefully. Mmm, soup. Love that soup. Gotta have my soup. Honestly, it's really hard to stream Metal Gear games and pay attention to the plot because it comes at you in these giant clumps and you can't pause it. And so, like, if anything happens in chat that you need to respond to or, like, an alert goes off, like, you're just going to be not paying attention for a little while. <laughs> Man, I went to Wendy's yesterday and I actually was going to get chili and they were out of chili. And I, so I didn't get chili. That's my story. Thanks for listening to my very interesting story. Dong, bagong. No, they offered me bacon because I wanted chili cheese fries. And they're like, we don't have chili. We can do baconator fries. And I was like, I don't want baconator fries. Bean and meat paste. <laughs> Red bean. Wendy's chili. Alright, well. Did they hide more shit behind the devil's... Oh, you can't go behind the devil's furnace this time. That is really good, Duke, yeah. That's a quality quick and easy meal.
Bam, ba, bam. Borbador. Borbador. Or. Nor. Uh, Skyline Chili. No. We did a lot of uh, elbow macaroni and chili growing up, but not spaghetti noodles. Butter chicken poutine. Hot damn. Nacho cheese in six pound cans. As someone who purchased a seven pound can of chocolate pudding, I say go for it. Nothing, nothing bad can happen to that. You'll definitely finish all of that. I think I need to take a break and get a peanut butter sandwich. Uh, I, f I forced my friends to eat a bowl of pudding each. I'd say we probably got maybe like a pound and a half through the seven pound can. And I think I bought two of them. <laughs> Pretty sure I bought two seven pound cans of pudding. I would probably take the nacho cheese. Well, yeah, I'd take the nacho cheese. Because I feel like if you found, like, something edible that was unpalatable, like, you don't want to eat it, but it will sustain you, you could dip it in nacho cheese and it'd be way better than if you dipped it in chocolate pudding. You know what I mean? Like, if you found half a squirrel, the chocolate pudding's not going to help. But the nacho cheese, that'll that'll get you through that. What's going wub wub wub? Something is going wub wub wub. Blood. That's nacho cheese. That's asadero cheese. <laughs> That's what you say every time you eat dinner, Rusty. Don't lie to us. frame mode. Mega frames. Mega frames. Ah. Yeah, uh, remove as many polygons as you can from the screen. So, like, if we open up our book of cheats, turn on Invisible Man. Whoops. It probably moves the eyes.
Wait a second. Wait a second. What the fuck? I don't know if the monsters can see me. That's a good question. That's a fine question you've asked there. Laddie. Run invalidated, start over. Yes, yes, they can see me. <laughs> Maybe I should just play the rest of the game like this. Just to improve the performance. Since it conveys no benefit. It just makes the game run better. What if there was an N64 game that had unlockable cheats and every one of them were just like performance enhancements? Oh yeah, you can't. Yeah, uh, Al Al pointed out the flaw in the logic. Can't see Shadow Man's butt. Bring back the low frame rate. Uh uh. There's uh there's high res and there's low res in this game. If you have the expansion pack plugged in, you can run it in high res. What's up, Bill Bull? That's really good. <laughs> I definitely used to play Doom that way on my shitty computer, you know? Just shrink the window down as small as possible to make it run better. It's good to know that that legacy lives on through Superman 64. Are those, those are large men down here. I'm gonna have to fight a large man, aren't I? <laughs> it's true, it's only 50% because... I'm only getting half the resolution. I remember that before, yeah. Oh, Rise of the Triad. That game is so good and so jank. Like, it's probably one of the least satisfying FPSs of that era, like the big ones to play. But at the same time, like, I just really like a lot of what that game has in it. You know? Are mine. I wonder if they're really gonna make me collect all 120 Dark Souls to open up the level 10 doors. It's unplayable at any size. Have you tried making it larger? This is going to lead to engine block two. Engine... Oh, another big boy. Another large lad, huh? Alright. It's not like this is difficult. I can agree with that assessment, Duke. That's kind of how I feel about most classic FPS, though. It's like... The first time you get to play it land with people, it's... This fucking mind-blowing experience, and then after like 20 minutes of Doom deathmatch, it's it's just kind of tedious. He's hitting me with the grape shot.
What I did like doing in Doom was going through each level in like co-op mode. That was sick. Wolfenstein. Another big boy. This is Linearvania. <laughs> Real life deathmatch. Jack did not give me any powers. He gave me a prism that let me go here. Oh god, he's big! <laughs> yeah, they do. Who's shooting at me? Didn't you just see me kill that large demon? What? Why do you want a piece of this? You idiot. You freaking idiot. I would eat Shadow Man themed canned pasta with like little Kado noodles and like, uh, I don't know, uh, maybe like, uh, like the different artifacts are all different pasta shapes. Shadow Man chewable vitamins. Because brooding 90s goth teenagers need their iron and calcium too. Especially if they're not going to get all that sunlight, you know what I mean? They're going to stay in their room playing video games all day and listening to that damn racket. I got you. I got you, Shadrock. I got you. Exclamation point tanks. What? Weirdest commercial tie-in. Hmm. This is pump two. The solution to pump two is two four five. These essential vitamins and minerals are mine. Yeah. 
Yep, we did golden eye. Alright, now that I've solved engine block two, I'm gonna take a break. I haven't taken a break yet this stream. And uh I'm a little peckish, so I think I'm gonna take a break. Kachunk! Backwards, maybe? Like, because this room is flipped from the other rooms? Oh, I read the wrong run. I read I read four, so it's one, two, four. Shit. Alright, hang on. Hang on. We did Glover pretty recently. One, two, four. Oh, this is going to take forever. I set this up so that I have to use this key, like, the most times now to fix this. Uh. Quality quality action game puzzle right here. Whoa. Whoa. Not stimulating enough for my giant gamer brain. Boring puzzle. I don't know how to get over there. I think maybe I have to figure out a new way to go in the prison. Or I just have to warp back to the main engine block room. We'll find out in a moment. But first, a word from our sponsors. And that sponsor is Shadow Man Chewable Vitamins. Uh, 461 plus 105... Plus nineteen over six sixty two. Oh baby. We're back on track. We're back on track. Yesterday was a bit of a disaster, but eighty eight percent. I think we can hit ninety percent tonight, guys. I don't want to jinx it. But I think we can hit ninety percent tonight. Ugh. Ugh. Alright. Okay. I'll be back in about six or seven minutes. Uh, please get up and stretch. Get some water. Do what you need to do. Take a big poop. And uh, we'll be back with more Shadow Man.
Hello, I'm back. I ate like 60% of a sandwich. And I'm back and I'm ready. I'm ready to talk about puzzle games. The other 40% is going in my mouth right now. X Keeper, how's it going? Cloud Heart, hello. Mm -hmm. That's me. That's me. Localizing Shadowrun for the Sega CD and eating the sandwich. Got me. Fiber. Okay. Beep, boop, boop, beep, boop, boop. What was I doing? I just turned off engine block number three. That's right. That's right. That's how I normally make my peanut butter sandwiches, but I went I went fancy this time. Doze. I made a peanut butter sandwich and uh, mascarpone cheese. Peanut butter and mascarpone cheese sandwich. <laughs> Drawed in a David Lee Roth video. How do you make him do a million footsteps like that? What's the, what's the secret? <laughs> boop, 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 boop. All right, let's uh let's get the hell out of here and let's go back to here. So there's still three areas I haven't been into. I can't warp to the jail, can I? So somewhere in the jail I gotta go. For sure. And then these are probably the last two areas. Honestly. Twitch chat has ended. Thank you for using Twitch chat. We have achieved the optimal result. And we no longer need to collect your data. Yeah, it's gotta be the jail. Has to be the jail, so we need to go to... Let me think about those. <laughs> Denied.
the Gex level. Did all the doors lock themselves again? Like all the cutscenes are playing again too. fuck is that? Oh, there's like a... Hang on a second. Shadow Man, get on the barrel. Shadow Man, eat your vegetables. Oh, thank God that doesn't work, because that would take forever to do. <laughs> I'm like, well, this is a clever idea, and I don't want to do it. That's what that's how Dark Souls should work. Similar to my previous idea about an N64 game where you upgrade the performance in game. Dark Souls should just run like shit the more and more humanity you lose. The helicopter's back? What the fuck? Maybe I already soft locked it. We're just wasting time. This room is very glow. Oh, yeah, okay. Any true collectible that's worth less today than it was 20 years ago. I want to say most Beanie Babies, but I don't actually know enough about that.
Oh, okay. Uh, hmm. The end is sooner than you think. Gold? <laughs> <laughs> is this an economics question? Is it is it gold? The United States dollar. What the fuck? It's kind of sick that I grabbed the ledge. I haven't been down here before. Okay. I figured it out. I solved the puzzle. I'm in like full walkthrough mode tonight, man. I'm just like, I'm just out here doing shit. This is great. Everyone's going to think that I studied the speed run of this. Oh, they're playing the accumulator music too. What about, like, um, hmm. All I can think of is, like, tchotchkes, right? Like, the fucking, the Batman Forever Pizza Hut glass. <laughs> oh, yeah, Coca-Cola merchandise. People really like to collect that stuff. Uh, a base set Charizard is like at least two hundred dollars right now. I mean, I can answer that question real quick. Is that a shotgun? Can I have it? May I please have the the shotgun that I? What? Is it just for dual wielding purposes? <laughs> is there a left-handed shotgun in this game? All right. Good. Shotgun left. All right, Charizard base set first edition. Shadowless. Uh, we'll set it to near mint. Why not? No, nah, it's actually worth more lightly played. A a first edition. Oh shit! You can't even find pricing on the first edition set. Okay. So just a shadowless base set Charizard, not first edition right now, is worth 550 bucks. That's definitely more than it was worth in 1997. <laughs> All right, left-handed shotgun, good. Very good. I think I remember it going for like 60 or 70 bucks, maybe. But I also wasn't paying super close attention back then. We're in the prison morgue? Does this jail have its own morgue? Is that a thing? Yeah, I think that's true, yeah. Actual things with rarity, they do tend to just escalate. And then as interest in a fad ebbs, to open this. Uh, prices for everything else can kind of go up or down. Uh-huh, yeah. Fucking persona. Yep. The most interesting one to me right now is Dragon Warrior games. Because, like, they were always, you know, if you knew old video games, like, they were worth tracking down. But now that, like, 
now that Americans actually give a shit about Dragon Quest, Dragon Quest VIII used to be like an eight, like a seven or eight dollar game, and now it's a thirty-nine, forty dollar game. Because suddenly, the average consumer gives a shit about Dragon Quest. Sample copies of Demon's Crest are cheaper than retail cards. Yeah, the DS shit's way expensive. Yeah, absolutely. Is nigh. <laughs> Where was he hiding that? Yeah, Skies of Arcadia is starting to get up there. It's always kind of hampered by the fact that everybody wants the GameCube version more than the Dreamcast one. But the GameCube version, ugh, ugh, it's too much money. Wub, 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 wub. There must be a way to open this. Yeah, it's starting to. Just nowhere near the GameCube one. Like I think, I think the GameCube one will hold the Dreamcast one down below like a certain point. Like the Dreamcast one has definitely gone way up, but I don't think it's going to reach the same uh, the same kind of price that the GameCube one commands, or even probably get within fifty percent of that. <laughs> yeah, they will. <laughs> uh, the chapel. the thing. Let's play your GameCube games on Wii. Nothing wrong with that. Pepperoni Esquiat. If you still need real smash, probably.
Alright, so like, this is gonna be really fucking tedious, right? <laughs> Going into each one of these solitary cells? No, you can't kill melee. Melee is an ideal about the purity of Smash Bros. It has nothing to do with whether or not people actually enjoy the game, but as long as they perceive that it is the correct form of Smash Bros, it can never die. Play as dog? Second, I'm Dog the Bounty Hunter. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Oh, that's a good cheat. <laughs> Whew, I'm crying a little bit. That caught me so far off guard. <laughs> like, I was expecting to be the dog. I was not expecting to... That... Oh, big head dog? You want to try that? We can try that. We can try that. No, not yet, Atticus. There you go. We're a mascot. Did I already do this for? It does have platforming. This is a platformer. It's got a little heart butt. I laughed so hard I forgot which way I was going. Moogmaster, hello. I may have to turn big head mode off. It's a little a little dizzying to try and like look around. Frame rate's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Thank you for the clip, Duke. <laughs> All right, let's let's get rid of big head mode. Invisible dog. Okay, that's the church again. I'm confused. Aw, oh, jeez. I'm confused, you guys. I need another prism. I need to find a boss fight in here. Uh, invisible dog. Does have the glowy eyes. I think invisible... I'm not the dog anymore. I'm pretty sure... Turning on Invisible Man supersedes being Visible Dog. <laughs> 
someone's gonna come back after having not watched this game in a while, after a couple days, and just be like, what? What, uh, what, what happened in this video game? Yeah, Voodoo Curse, good answer. Good answer. <laughs> what? What had happened in this video game? RP Genius, thank you for the 55 months. I can't help but feel that I just woke some people up, and I want to apologize for that. But I was genuinely surprised <laughs> by the existence of Dogman. Well, you wanted your cutscene question? Here you go. Afternoon. May I help you? What I meant to say was, is there something I can do for you? Yeah, there's something you can do for me. And what is that, pray tell? You can get the hell out of my way. <laughs> ah, I'm afraid that won't be possible. <sighs> Anything's possible, Doc. You, above all, people should know that. <laughs> the voice. I'm sorry. Did I call you people? Oh! You aren't a person at all. From a dog? Are you? Don't tell me you're expecting some kind of answer to your rhetorical question. Oh yeah, I know all about you, Doc. You think you're so smart. Look at you. So smug in your self-belief. The hero at the heart of your own pathetic power fantasy. But really, you're a little baby girl, aren't you? Deep inside, shivering inside. Pissing your frilly little panties. Oh, come now. A squealing, puking, hairless puppy inside. Now you're mixing metaphors. So move out of my way, puppy dog. I won't <laughs> ask you again. I will not move out of your way. I will not. Do you know who I am? Do you? <laughs> you're a little puppy dog. Don't call me that. I am Dr. Death. I am the Lizard King. <laughs> What I've accomplished here, I have brought his kingdom to earth. I am the leader of the five. You should fear me. Fear me. I pity you. That wasn't very nice. Now was it? For I shall sit at the right hand of the Lord. Did you know that? For we are many. Were you aware of that? You cat! You piece of ignorance! <laughs> you nothing! <laughs> now, Apocalypse, the end of all things. Your voodoo harlot was correct, Michael dear. The end is nigh, and it's sooner than you think. Oh my god. The voice acting was the same, but it just felt like it was so much more exaggerated and cartoonish once it was coming out of a giant talking dog. <laughs> he's got like... He's Eagle from fucking Street Fighter 1. Yeah, when he said all the puppy stuff. That's that's just good scripting right there, man. <laughs> all right, he's dying. This is, like, a hard boss fight compared to all the other ones, except that he does zero damage.
<laughs> Dog wins. So the eyes, the glowing eyes are still there. They're just uh, peeking out through like the dog's neck. <laughs> All right, dog. Use the key, the card, the key card. Meh. Fifty cent blood on the sand. You should absolutely play it. You owe it to yourself to play fifty cent blood on the sand. One of the single greatest games to be released in the twenty tens. Because the secret's out. 2009? Alright, 2000s then. One of the best games to be released in the 2000s. I'm not kidding. What? People are selling blood on the sand for a hundred dollars. Are you shitting me? Wow. It need oh I know what it is actually. I know what it is. It's because it just got backwards compatible on Xbox One. That's why it's so much more expensive. Because you can play it on Xbox One. <laughs> what are my top five Genesis games? Shadowrun. Uh, probably Shining Force 2. Maybe General Chaos, um, Castlevania Bloodlines, uh, Alien Syndrome? Yeah, not Syndrome, sorry, Alien Soldier. Alien Soldier. Sonic and Knuckles and Knuckles and Knuckles and Knuckles and Knuckles and Knuckles. And Dizzy, yeah. And Dizzy and Knuckles, yeah. Can't forget that, that's a good game. I did say Dragon Warrior 2 specifically, yeah. That's subject to change, seeing as the only Dragon Quest game I've ever finished is the first one, but I found 3 to just be really confusing to me. Uh, 
Like, I got very lost. Not, like, uh, mechanically confusing. Like, pathfinding confusing. Mechanically confusing, I'm all about that shit. I've been seeing people tweet about dungeon encounters recently, and, like, oof. Just injected into my veins. Talking about like, the Genesis plastic cases, Atticus. I would be really into collect. Like honestly, I don't like doing complete in box for like cardboard boxes, but for plastic shit, I can get behind it. The only reason I'm like immune to that for the Genesis is that you can't get, you can't get uniform plastic cases. You can make your own. You can get repros, but you can't like. You can't get every game in a plastic case, and so to me, it's not worth trying. Even though I think they're way better than having just loose cart, I, I, it's, it sucks that they didn't just stick with it the whole way. Unlimited Saga is an amazing game, and I love it. Resonance of Fate is also a really good game. Resonance of Fate is super fun. Most mechanically confusing RPG. What was that game Chubo played? Where you softlock yourself by raising your speed stat because you can't grind to get items because your speed stat makes you too fast to get into random encounters? <laughs> Shapeshifter. Yeah. That's the first place my brain's going. <laughs> It may not be the right answer, but that's definitely my first inclination. Ah! You just front kicked a, a two-legged dog, my friend. Yeah, if it's like a game that you really love or like one that's super valuable, I can understand going for the uh, going for the the clamshell repro. Absolutely. I don't know. I don't think the same thing happened in Japan though. Like, I think if you just go with like Mega Drive games, it's all it's all clamshell. I think. I had a friend who just like out of the blue started collecting Mega Drive stuff and he had it all on a shelf and like it's so colorful and the design is so distinct. The Mega Drive boxes are gorgeous. Big boys! Oh, it's about to get loud, folks. There's more than one big boy in the room. This is... You know what I really love N64 boxes, though? Honestly, the design on N64 boxes is so cool. Because unless the company was being super lazy and, like, just not trying, you have a different piece of art on every side of the box, and that's so good looking. Like, it just makes you want to, like, turn it over in your hands and take in every detail. It's... So cool. And that's just for the American boxes. That's, that's totally unique to the American boxes because the, uh, the Japanese ones are like traditional game boxes where they just have like a picture on the front and a logo on the sides. And then I think the European ones have just like, I want to say they just have like black sides with the logo. 
You want to chew on Game Boy boxes. Are you Shadow Dog, Anwa? I have a box full of game boxes, but like it's not important to me. I've given some away to people. I think I've sold a couple. Um, it was one of those things that like my brother was just like, yeah, you saved the boxes and everything. And I was like, okay. And you know, it's cool to have them, but I'm not, I'm not married to the notion of preserving my boxes. It's just sort of something that I'll do because I have the room to do it. And if I don't have the room to do it, I'll try and send them somewhere where they'll make somebody happy. The state of full box scans. Yeah. I yeah, I can I can understand that. It's probably one of those things where it's like if you're willing to bother collecting the boxes, you're not willing to bother to break them down, you know? Yeah, we're a dog now. It's fine. It's okay to be a dog. Yeah. That definitely would have helped. Can I make this jump? I don't think I can make this jump. All right, believe in yourself, Shadow Dog. Hell yeah. the upper body strength on this dog. How the shit... Like, an hour just exploded. How was it 1.30 and... Holy shit. I've been absorbed by this game tonight, you guys. Holy fuck. I'm in the shadow zone. I think that's copyrighted. This isn't a Konami game. I can't can't say that. Yeah, if I could have just been the dog the whole time. 10 out of 10. Game of the year shit. Blood. Big boy? That sounded kind of like a big boy. Oh yeah, there's got to be a big boy in this room, right? Wait, wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. Huh. Okay.
How much does that dog bench? How much can that doggy do a bench press? The one with the ripple and pecs. <laughs> play as dog. Change to dog man. Stop playing. Bland. Your soul's mine. New game, new dog game plus. All right, what's the deal with this? This is clearly a gigantic door of some sort. I still haven't gotten the item that lets me, like, raise the plates. I'm still, like, missing key items, I think. What the fuck? I'm sure someone's tried to invent guns for dogs. Box factory. Wait a second. They're dropping off a big lad, aren't they? Wait. What? It's like a magic trick? They're gonna go they're gonna tap all the sides of the box. Oh. I don't know, I don't wanna do this. I'm so there's like five paths I haven't gone down. Oh, this is a big boy. Alright. That's fine. If we get a dark wait. Dog delivery. Save. Yeah, saving's a good idea. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. <laughs> good call sales. Alright, pull the lever. Put the key in. Kill the blood. Oh, fuck. Where did he come from? <laughs> yeah, this last area, or I guess it's not the last area, but like this leg of the game. It's just like this big puzzle room with these guys as the only Dark Souls available. It's it's not the most interesting level for sure. And that's the nicest thing I could say about it. For being this like game culminating zone where you have to clear all the different warp points to get here and like this is what happens is meh. I don't know, I'm not getting paid. I'm doing it for the love of the hunt. Uh, Out with the hole in the 
with the new shit. Mom said blood. That's the end of the puzzle zone. Uh, two, four, five. Yeah, thanks, Jack the Ripper, for writing down all the puzzle solutions. Thanks for making the strategy guide, Jack the Ripper. been shut down. It's all off now. I could warp back and immediately do that, but I think that's a mistake. I think that's what they want me to do. And I want collectibles. Collectibles. Is suddenly a lot quieter, that is true. Well, I don't think they've really been giving me Cadeau in this area for whatever reason. Like, they're just not here. Which is weird. What's through this door? Thank you, Armored Macaw. Weird. Whoa, just three or two free Dark Souls? All right, sick. <laughs> yeah, they tried to trick me. They're like, hey, you stopped the engine. You want to go see what's past the engine? You've been working at this for hours. No, no, no. No, sir. I have played many video games in the past. I'm onto your shit. I don't know who's shooting at me though. That guy. Alright. This gentleman with the gun. I really think this game is so good, you guys. <laughs> Like, it's had some, some lulls, and, like, there's things I would change about it, but I really like this game. I'm a, I'm a good boy? I think, I think I'm a good boy. It really was. Like, it's so silly and stupid. Not a single one. How many Dark Souls do I have now? 112. Yeah, I bet they don't. I bet I don't get level 10 until I have all 120. <sighs> you thought I like Xena the best? Just cause I, it's just because I played it for so much. I mean, I do like Xena. It's a it's a dumb fucking game, but I do like it. Cadant. Cadant. Cadant.
I don't think I've played that many N64 games so far that I just straight up don't like. Like, maybe five or fewer. Zarish, welcome to the chat. Yeah. Good cutscenes. Like, there's a lot of squandered chances and blown opportunities and, like, just lazy design and stuff that makes me upset. But in terms of actual, like, fuck this game, it's bad. I don't think I, like, you know, I don't think Jeopardy on the N64 is a very good game. But at the end of the day, it's still Jeopardy. Like, that's not a bad thing. I haven't played through Jet Force Gemini as part of the challenge, though. So maybe I'll feel differently now that I'm older and playing other N64 games, you know? bite. Why is that barrel clipped through the wall? And what's in here? Nothing? Absolutely nothing, huh? Well, that's a weird room. This is a weird room to exist. Hmm. Alright, well. Yeah, it was locked, like... Oh. I got shit in my hands. On the one hand, I appreciate that this game doesn't let you grab wedges if you've got shit in your hands other than, like, the basic gun. But... Also, other video games let you do that for a reason. <laughs> so I can't be mad at it. But also, I'm just like... You know, points for realism. Oh, shit. There are a lot of squares all over this game. They were teasing the GameCube. The Shadow Man developers were the only ones that knew that it wasn't going to be called the Dolphin. Because this is going to kick me out on the other side. The fuck? Okay, well, I think we can warp now. Oh, man, look how much my shit's filling out. Oh, yes. Uh, engine block. Come on, Slowpoke. Come on, Slowpoke. Okay. The engine is off. It's time to see what's on the other side of this thing. Huh? <laughs> I forgot that we were chasing his brother through this area. That was so long ago. Come on, slowpoke. Huh? I already have all the Dark Souls in this area. Does he? Do these ones not get let out of the cages? Let me shake it. There you go. Mama's 
must I be like that? Why must I chase my dead brother? I do, okay, as fun as dog mode is, and it's a lot of fun, I'm about it. I have this nagging worry in my head that if I beat the game in dog mode, it's going to be like, oh, you used a cheat. How pedantic. And so I'm I'm going to turn dog mode off. I think we've had our fun. I enjoyed it. I wish we didn't have to, but I am concerned. <laughs> like this pale sickly green color Luke there you are what you doing running away like that Luke speak to me kid hiya Mikey glad you can make it I've been waiting for you I was scared scared they were gonna catch me that you weren't gonna oh shit that never turned the timer back on Luke you should have known I'd always be there for you bro there were bad things in the dark. Badger than the boogeyman. They did stuff to me. Thank you, Bill. I don't want to think about. Oh, God. I'm sorry, Luke. Hey, you want to hear a joke, Mikey? Sure. Once upon a time, there was a murderer and his victim walking hand in hand towards some deep, dark woods. The victim squeezes the murderer's hand real tight. He says, looking up pleadingly, his big, brown eyes. I'm really scared, Mr. Of the deep dark woods. Luke, what the hell? He sighs and he says, You're scared. How the hell do you think I feel? I'm gonna be walking back through them on my own. Pretty funny, hey, Mikey. Pretty goddamn amusing, don't you, Duke? You ain't Luke. You ain't my brother. Congratulations! You win the booby prize. Booby. It was never your brother. Just a little insurance to get you here. Really, you must learn to let the dead rest in peace. Who are you? And he asked him, "What is thy name?" And he replied, "My name is Legion, for we are many." Yurg, how's it going? And you, Shadow Man, are Legion also. The souls of the many fill your vitals to bursting. To hell with this obscure shit. I don't need it. All I need to know is that I'm gonna take you down. You really don't get it, do you? You're even more of a posturing fool than I first believed. When I came up with my grand and incredibly brilliant plan, which you will know as the prophecy all those years ago. What? You created the prophecy? Of course I did, you pillock. Surely you didn't believe all that bollocks about the old gods imparting the knowledge to the ancients. The only god back then was me. It was I who spoke to the ancients in their dreams and planted the seed for my triumphant return. Of course, all those years ago I couldn't have hoped for a more willing puppet. Luckily, the puppet is you, Michael Lavoie. Wow. And of course, now that you have so kindly presented poor Luki with his teddy bear, it is impossible for you to leave. You bastard! Thank you. I suppose you've read the Lake House, for it is written, and Legion took the power of the Dark Souls unto him. I knew that the Dark Souls would be difficult to get, and I needed someone to bring them to me. And here you are, replete with their immortal power. A power I require to energize my dark engine and project my armies across the veil to Liveside. As it was in the beginning, 
is now and forever shall be. Is it over yet? Oh, I think it is, Michael. Well and truly over. We spoke the word to Pike, Batrachian, Cruz, and the others, so that they might open the way. We whispered sweet nothings into Nettie's ear as she lay sleeping, and she sent you to us, like the proverbial lamb to the slaughter man. No, Shadow Man. The power is within you, Shadow Man. The power to unleash the apocalypse upon your pissant little world. Throne awaits you, Michael Lewis. You are the fuel for a great engine, as it was in the beginning, is now, and forever shall be. Amen to that. Okay, let's. Oh, I can't save. souls I now possess would give me even greater power. Power enough to take you down. You might think that. But unfortunately, and once again, you are woefully mistaken. What the f Oh, guts. A trick to this? I don't think there's a trick to this. D to take throughout. There's no D button on this controller. Four C buttons, no D button. A, B, C, up, C, left, C, down, C, right, L, R, Z, and start. Hey, wait a second. I'm supposed to make him hit this thing, aren't I? Or is that just... No. I thought... I thought I did something, but he did something. this massive attack? <laughs> What's playing right now? I can barely hear the music over this giant energy blast that's about to kill me, but... Well, uh... <laughs> hmm. I picked a really good time to fall down, actually.
Maybe I should try climbing back up. main menu oh shit high stakes kind of because <laughs> the warp point is right before that boss fight but but that's pretty sick what the fuck are these <laughs> are, there, are there more areas that I haven't been to? Or is this just how this menu works? Oh no, did I? I lost, I lost Dark Souls. I lost progress. Shit. Well, we need to call it a night anyways. It's two in the morning. I got work in the morning. Because they don't let you save once you trigger the last boss fight, Kaidrin. They lock you out of saving. And I didn't save soon enough, I guess. Let's do a quick percentage check. Uh, 109. Plus 470. Plus... Uh, 20 over 662 look at that look at that nice round 90 that's nice all right tomorrow or whenever the next stream is probably tomorrow we're gonna beat the last boss of this we're gonna try and find all the items And, uh, and yeah, maybe we can finish this game before the week's out. And then I gotta pick a different N64 game to play. And then I gotta choose a different N64 game. Thank you everybody for watching, thanks for chatting, thanks for hanging out. Big thanks to RP Genius for the resub, Shadrock for gifting a sub to Ann K, Basehole dropping some bits, Devos Gaming 27 dropping a raid, joining the channel for the first time, thank you Devos. Uh, Dorky on TV, Gal Rocks, Shadrock, all with bits, Capybara, 38 month tier 2. And that's, that's the highlight reel from tonight. Thank you everybody, thank you for the thank yous, thank you for thanking me, and thank you for thanking me for thanking you. Um, We're going to raid Big Zeef. Big Zeef is doing his Mega Man Shuffler. I think we raided him last night. We're going to raid him again tonight. Mega Man Shuffler. Every 1 to 100 seconds, his his Bizhawk changes to a different Mega Man game as he tries to get through 35 Mega Man games in total. You probably already missed the fight with Shadow Man, but uh, you can tell him who your favorite... You can just type... Don't say, like, my favorite robot master is Brr Brr Brr. Just type blank, like... The, the word and then man, so like snake man or, or drill man or splash woman. Just type that and just fill it up with infinity maginions. And I will see y'all next time. We're going to turn the N64 off. Thank you, N64. Thank you, Shadow Man, for dog mode cheat. That was great. And uh, yeah, you're going to get your lizards. I'm going to get out of your hair. I'm going to wind down. I'm going to go to bed. Good night. Be well. Take care. Be safe. It's getting it's getting scary out there again, so be safe. Wear a mask. Get your shot if you haven't already. All that good shit. No getting sick on my watch. You all have to be healthy 
healthy people. Slime Girl Season, thank you for the last second follow. Alright, good night.